shadows do not fall. But when the feast is finished and the lamps expire, then falls thy shadow, Cinera, the night is thine. Yea, hungry for the lips of my desire, I have been faithful to thee, Cinera. I have been faithful to thee, Cinera, in my fashion. much control. <laughs> here, here, we won't let it happen again. Oh, that's all right. I wasn't scared. Well, we'll watch it next time. Well, don't be worried. I don't mind. It is, it's fun watching. What game is it? Football. Touch football. We play to keep in shape. Don't take any wood nickels, lady. Do you, uh, are you a uh, real player? Pro ball, lady. Well, I only played second string last year, but you watched my smoke this year. I'd like to. But what name do I... Ed, Ed Kraske, right in. Think fast, Hogfrat! <laughs> Stay loose, lady. at first. Can we go somewhere and talk? He doesn't like us to leave the platform. What a cute little bubble. Hey, where do you think you're going? May I call you Ed? Everybody else does. You uh, want to talk. I've been watching you on the beach and you're so agile. Your body is so... Well, I keep in shape. That brings me to why I wanted to see you. I'm an artist, quite a good one. And from the moment I first saw you, I said to myself, I must capture that on canvas. Capture? Paint. Paint? Me? You mean oil paintings? Dozens of them. I hope you can say it. Uh, I 
don't know. What is, what is it for? For? Oh, myself. Exhibitions, uh, probably uh, reproduced in magazines or books. Do they take much time? An hour or two a day, no more. Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't got much time with this and practice. Uh, well, a man has to relax a little. I think you'd find it relaxing. That's not what I mean. Well, what do you call relaxing? A few beers with the boys and move in. Well, some fun. You mean girls? Yeah. Uh, that's right. Ed, you'd be surprised what good sport this can be. Well, I don't know. Of course, I wouldn't expect you to uh, model for nothing. I saw your friend yesterday, and I told him that I want... Oh, perhaps I did. I'll pay you $20 for each session. Um, for each session that you pose. You mean for a couple of hours? That's right. Well, lady, you got yourself a deal. When should we have our, our first meeting? Name it. Tomorrow morning at 11. Oh, I'm not free until 5. 5? Not until 5? Well, 5's fine. You just write your address there. Tomorrow at five. Arms around my neck and then began to weep. Hi, we're getting in a little practice. She wept, she cried, she pulled her hair. Me, what could I do? So all night long I held her in my arms to keep her from that foggy, foggy do. Favorites down at the coffee house. Say, how about a beer? It'll set you up. Uh, only if you'd have one with me. Hell, I've had three already, but uh, I'm not one to say no. <laughs> and the only, only thing that I did that was wrong was keep her from. Well, not bad, huh? <laughs> Here. Here's a lot of famous pictures. And here's to art and life. Right. Sit down. Sit down and take a load off. There. <laughs> Jackie and I put a, put, put a board under. You like a hard bed? That's what finished the Romans, you know. Hard beds? Soft beds and, and hot baths. Yeah, well, I take cold showers. Might we get started? Uh, is your roommate up to... Will he be home soon? No, I kicked him out. You don't think I'm gonna let that bench jockey sit around and heckle me? And now while I'm being painted. Oh, I'm so glad because ever since the first day I saw you at the beach in your natural element, I observed the, the grace of your body and the, and the freedom of your limbs. I've wanted to sketch you as a Greek Olympic hero. Have you ever seen that classical statue of the discus thrower? No. Well, inspired by your body, I feel that I can surpass Myron the Greek. Assume the position. Huh? Oh, like that. You know, the discus throwers were in the nude, uh, like all the Greek Olympians, and that is how I'd like you to pose. With nothing on? In the classical tradition, now, if you'd get disrobed, I'll be getting ready. Now, wait a minute, lady. You, you don't expect me to take off all my clothes in front of a woman? <laughs> you don't suffer from false modesty. After all, this is for art. Art. In your profession, I, I suppose you must take care of your body. 
Like a baby. But a man has to have one vice. Is that your only vice? Well, it depends on what you call vice. Well, female companionship? Oh, no. Not while I'm in training. Besides, if you saw some of those flipperoos that got washed up on the beach. Well, Ed, you are modest. Yes. that's washed up on the beach. Think of me as, as, as one of your flipperoos. What'd you say? You think that I'm too much of a lady to be one of your... Well, I am a lady, but I'm also a woman. Are you gonna paint me? Of course not, silly. I can do that next time. I want, you know, the first time I saw you, I fought the feeling inside of me. I knew that I was enamored of you. Foolishly so. But women in love are foolish. And now I just want your love. Don't you want to kiss me yet? Kiss me, Eddie. You might enjoy it. My teeth. Shaggy said. He said what, Ed? Why he had a hutch. Yes. He said, boy, there's a lot of pepper in that tomato. And do you like pepper, Ed? I do. Are you ready? Oh, so ready. I I can't breathe, Ed. Mm. Relax, Ed. Boy, that Jackie, he could pick him up my way. <laughs> just, listen, just listen to me. It's not that I, I don't find you desirable. It, it, it's just that things like this should be done. Things like this should take time. You, you can't just toss me about like a football. I, I admire you. Your strength and the uh, uh, recklessness. Ed, ouch! <laughs> really, you must listen to reason. Things like this could be be beautiful. Go, no, Ed, stop it! Well, for heaven's sake! Hey, you all right, kid? You can paint me any time of the week. Hey! Hey, I don't even know your name. 